I record new episodes of my video podcast every week, and it can be time consuming from planning to recording, publishing, and then promoting that show. And the only way I can stay consistent is by recording and editing with Riverside. This is the YouTube channel for our podcast, and you can see every video on this channel was recorded and edited with Riverside. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take the pain out of editing and get your video podcast ready in under five minutes. Now, one of the things we do while we're recording is actually use Riverside's media board and screen sharing features. This way we show visuals live as we record, and this way the Riverside editor can put it all together in minutes. We record for about an hour and a half, and once we're done, both me and my co-host's video and audio files are recorded locally in high quality, uploaded to our Riverside dashboard, and they're ready to edit in just a few moments. One of the things that helps me expedite the publishing process is also this AI generate show notes feature. In just a few seconds, that's literally how quick it was. I didn't cut anything out. I actually have a summary, which these keywords are great to just copy and paste in the YouTube video tags. Also takeaways, potential titles, and even these chapters that are auto-generated in Riverside. These AI show notes really helps jumpstart publishing that new episode. And if I scroll underneath that, you'll see there's a full episode and we can click generate this is going to remove silences, run some magic tools, use the AI producer built in Riverside, and we almost have the full episode ready to go in just a few seconds. Now that it's generated, I can click edit and we head into the Riverside editor. Once I'm in the editor, I basically make sure the in points and out points are good, and then I'll edit any small pieces out that I need to. I zoom into the timeline, I'll drag that to the perfect end point, and then to find the end point, I typically say see you next week. And to find that point, I'm going to search the transcript using the search box here. You see it zoomed into the perfect point, and then anything else we recorded after, I can just highlight the text here in the transcript and click delete, and I've edited the video and audio just by editing text like it's a Word document. Now I have the perfect out point. One of the strategies I use while we're recording is marking the clip in the Riverside studio. So as me and my co-host are recording a new episode, if something happens where I need to edit it, maybe someone had to get up or someone misspoke, I can just click mark clip here and I'll see those markers in the Riverside editor. Those appear as these little purple dots down in the timeline. I can click there and zoom in. Maybe I need to edit out a couple sentences here. I'll select it, click delete, and I've edited my video and audio content. Honestly, that takes just under a couple minutes. I can spend a little time adding a background image and maybe formatting the layout just how I like. I like to round the corners of me and my co-host's video there. Maybe you want to reorder the tracks and have someone different on top or on bottom. You can do that. You can change the format up here if you'd rather make a vertical clip. And you can see animated captions were already added when we generated the full episode. If you choose, you can remove those using the trash can or click on captions and choose one of the different styles here. Once you've added them, you can still change the style, font, size, and even colors and how the active word is highlighted. If there are any visuals you missed, you can click our image overlay tool, choose from royalty-free stock images, or upload your own images. Click and drag it anywhere in the frame or quickly fill the frame if you'd like. And if we go into our AI producer, you can use smooth speech to remove all the filler words and unwanted sounds. You'll see those represented by these little squiggly lines in the transcript. I'll click apply to smooth speech. Magic mute will mute someone's track when they're not speaking. Great to cut out maybe some breathing sounds or background noise. I can also apply magic audio, which will make any microphone sound studio quality. Now, because we use the generate full episode option, we already removed some silences. But if you started an edit from scratch, you can go back to set pace, choose to remove even more silence, or even go super fast, which is great for those vertical clips. Click apply, and it will remove all the silence throughout your clip. Finally, the last thing before I export is maybe manage some of the chapters here. All these chapters were generated automatically from Riverside. I can click on the three dots and rename them. Maybe I need to change the spelling or make them a little shorter. I can change the end point or where this chapter appears by clicking and dragging here. You'll also see those chapters here in the transcript, and I can click and drag them up and down, place them exactly where I'd like. Once I've got my chapters perfect, I can click the three dots up here and copy that chapters list and then paste it in my YouTube video description to auto-generate the captions there. And to add some finishing touches, I can also add background music by clicking down here, choose from the stock-free library of songs already built into Riverside, or I can upload my own music here on the Uploads tab and go over to Audio, click a piece of audio that I've already uploaded, drag that to the beginning, click the three dots and I can adjust the volume to make sure it's under our speaking volume, which I can also adjust our individual track volume by clicking our name here and adjusting both me and my co-host volume. Or I can choose to normalize the audio so everyone's the same volume right here on Export, which we're basically ready to export. I can go up to 4K video quality, normalize audio so everyone's the same volume. Or if I adjusted that volume manually, maybe I want to keep that toggled off, and I can export the video right here. Not only that, but maybe I want to keep editing with all the same cuts and chapter markers that I've already created, and then I can export an audio version for my podcast host. I can go back up to export. This retained all the edits I already had, choose an MP3 file, and export the audio, and now I have a full video version of my podcast episode and an audio version exporting, 
and I can distribute those to YouTube, Spotify, my podcast host, and everywhere else you'd like. Not to mention you can use our Magic Clips feature to generate lots of vertical video in just a few seconds, share those on Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, and you can have weeks of content just from one video podcast recording. And that's how I edit my weekly video podcast and generate Reels and Clips right here in Riverside in under five minutes. If you have any questions about this process or Riverside in general, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those personally. And if you want to learn about adding that video not only to YouTube, but to Spotify, which no matter where you host your podcast now, you can add the full video versions, uploading it directly in your Spotify for Podcasters dashboard. I walk through that whole process in the video right up here. And if you want to learn more about getting your podcast in front of a wider audience, and not just followers, but actually develop a dedicated audience that engages with your content, you can check out that video right up here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button before you go. And we can't wait to see the video podcasts you create.